Need stop. Need stop. Hi there, Scary Gary. Sure glad you guys came back for another week. Well, today we're going to talk about our number one problem in a trailer, and that's the moisture issue. Um, I've done several videos. We've talked a lot about the condensation that happens in your trailer, and we've done you know, things like uh, dehumidifiers, keeping your temperatures down. We've had one major problem with moisture inside our trailer, and it, it almost always generates at the winter times when it's cold outside and we're running the heater on the inside. I have to remember we live in Houston, Texas, and any of the humid states, it's a major problem. And the problem with it being cold on the outside and warm on the inside is the same situation as you have with a glass that is cold on the inside and it is warm outside, it forms moisture. And what we've noticed, the worst place is at the, the front of our trailer, the cap, and you have a wall that is basically several different layers of things, but it's like a fiberglass outside, and then it's like styrofoam in the middle giving you some type of insulation, and then you just have what's on the inside, and that's just not enough to keep it from forming moisture up there. And we have noticed at times where we go to bed or we go, go reach up there and touch, we have had just, it almost looks like the trailer's leaking and we were concerned that we have a leak in the front, on the, on the roof in that area or around a seam and I've checked it out, but it's always just been the condensation that happens and it only happens there where our mattress goes right up against the wall and doesn't allow airflow to dry it up. Because, I mean, the truth of the matter is, even in houses, that's what they call a, ma a moisture barrier. And, I mean, I know when you look at the insulation in a house, you see this fiberglass insulation. It's got this paper on the one side of it that goes against your wall. The paper is the moisture barrier. And you think, well, how can paper be a moisture barrier? It it gets wet and it's allowed to dry with the airflow. And that's how they do it. But unfortunately, when you put something right up against it, you have no airflow. And it con it makes condensation. It just gets wetter, wetter, wetter. And next thing you know is, why is this thing soaking wet? And you can look at look at this picture of, this, of one of our pillows that was up against the front of the trailer. And we got it. We dried it out the best we can, but still it's left that stain up there. So, did a little research online. So what I found, the Hypervent Airflow Moisture Barrier. What this material is, it's basically like a fiberglass netting and it's got a geofabric over the top of it and it just allows air to flow through it. You can't get away from the cold air on the outside and the hot air on the inside, unless you wanna make your air on the inside cold as it is outside, but that's not really camping, at least not for Mary Lou. So you're not gonna get away from it. So what do we need to do? We just need to make certain if it gets wet, it has a way to get dry. And the airflow is what makes that happen. I got it from a company that was called um, Mattress Insider. They give you a chart that tells you if you have the size mattress, you ought to get this. This stuff comes in 39 inch width. And I, we've got basically an RV King. Our mattress is like 72 by uh, uh, 80. But I didn't put it all the way underneath because I don't have a moisture problem underneath. And it only forms on the upper cap. So what I did was I bought a piece that was uh, six feet, 72 inches wide, which covered the front end and then be 39 inches somewhat wide. So the material cost about $9.99 uh, a linear foot. And again, it's 39 inches wide. They have like a $50 minimum. So that's, it worked out very well for me getting uh, the six feet. 
and I was able to put it on the front of the, the trailer. I first put it up there and put the mattress against it, and we've tried it on a few campouts, and we haven't had any problem. So then I came back, and I actually stapled it to the front end of the trailer, to the, the inside, and I cut around some of the plugs, so it actually set up against it a lot, a lot nicer. Uh, it looked a lot more professional as an installation. And, and the truth of the matter is, as you look at it, when you make the bed up, it doesn't, it doesn't take away from the looks of the trailer. It just helps you a lot with the moisture problem. And that's what we're trying to, we're trying to deal with the moisture because we're definitely not going to eliminate it. Well, I'm sure glad you joined us. And I hope to see you next week and try to stay dry out there. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make me happy.